just went ahead and I did the wart removal so as you can see my face looking red and you're seeing the spots that's just the wart removal and now when I'm doing my makeup you don't have to see these black spots in my face and today I am going to give an update on my wart removal so yesterday I went and I did my laser hair removal and also I did a wart removal so as you can see this is what my face looked like it's a bump so from yesterday after I did my procedure in removing the warts I was told that I must not wash my face I must keep it dry so now it's time for me to wash my face and this is the soap that was recommended to me and it's simple the brand is simple pure soap for sensitive skin so I was told not to use any other soap on my face so I am going to wash my face So this is what the soap look like right so i'm gonna give my face a wash so this is the second day of my wart removal and let's go So I'm trying to be gentle, I must not pick the face. So I'm going to give it another wash. It feels a little bit bruised, but I know that within five days, as the, she said, it will the all the scab will remove from it from the face. And so I'm looking forward for that. So I was given this moisturizer to use um, after I, after I washed the face. So I was, I was it was recommended that I wash the face, then I apply it in the morning throughout the day, you know, to help with the scab and the, keep the face moisturized. So this is what I'm gonna use.
so it's feeling a little bit burning yes it is burning Woo. yes okay so this is the first day of washing the face and adding in my moisturizer so I am gonna give you a daily update on this watch removal yo it's burning me it is burning my face is a little bit swell it's a little bit swollen Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. yeah so guys I am showing you an update today on my face and as you can see the what you call it the scab um, from the watch remover it is really getting a little bit a little bit harder which means that it, it is drying up on the skin and it's soon time for it to fall off also going to continue to add my moisturizer that was given to me to moisturize the, the face So it's, it's more feeling a little more rough, you know, like it's more of a lot of a scab. So I am adding my moisturizer. So I should give you a next update tomorrow okay so today i just want to give you another update on my scars so as you can see this one has fallen off and i think right here also so the these are getting harder and it's now falling off so i think um about two more days most of it should um, be off and looking like this so yes that is a good improvement so I will continue to use my moisturizer on my face that was given to me so that's what I'm doing now So as each day is, um, goes by, like on the first day, um, it was burning when I um, put the moisturizer on it. So no, I am not feeling that anymore. So it, it's basically good now. It's just for the, the scalp to fall off the face now. As you can see right here as I show you before that's where it one has fallen and right here I think right here also right here yeah so that's it that's the update on this so see you again on the next day okay so today this is what my face looking like on the fourth day most of the scab have fallen off so some remain to fall off oh, so this is what it's looking like on the fourth day and yes i just apply my moisturizer yeah. this is what it's looking like this is what it's looking like so this is a close-up of my face after the scab have been removed 
so this is what it's looking like so it's no for the spot to be erased I don't know what is this I hope it's not a new word coming up right here also so this is another update on my face this and the word removing so as you can see the white part of the scab that was removed now that area is turning black or dark so it's just for that this area to blend out back to my skin and I should be good So this is how I remove the warts from my face. Thank you guys for watching my video. Bye.